Good morning, Project Rays, or maybe good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this. My name is Rico Palafox, and I am one of the current McNair scholars in the program. And I wanted to thank you for taking a few minutes to learn a little bit more about what McNair Scholars has to offer. For some very brief background, uh, just as Project Rays, McNair Scholars is a federally funded program under the Department of Education. We are one of eight uh, current TRIO programs in place. And we are named after Dr. Ronald E. McNair, uh, who overcame adversity and in inequity in his community to eventually obtain his doctorate degree from MIT and join the NASA astronaut program. He tragically perished in the 1986 Challenger spacecraft incident, but the McNair Scholars Program carries on his legacy of fostering persistence and resilience in the path towards academic success. Now, as Project Raise members, I'll make the assumption that many or all of you are already aware of the benefits in participating in undergraduate research and are likely interested in learning more about new opportunities to participate. Thus, I'll focus on the benefits that McNair provides that cater towards these interests. Let's start by covering some of the more personal development support provided to McNair scholars. Now, I have a feeling that many of you are well aware that as students who are looking to grow and, and prepare ourselves for the next step in higher education, we are busy. It's quite easy to get buried in matters either outside of school or allow one class with a heavier workload to distract us from the focus and discipline in our other courses. One of the components of the McNair Scholars Program is the weekly or bi-weekly advisement meeting with the program's assistant director. These meetings are meant to be both uh, intentional and fruitful. By that I mean that you will come prepared with any obstacles or challenges that you are encountering either in your courses um, or other academic areas. And the program uh, points you either to uh, solutions, guidance, or additional resources available to you as a student to help you overcome these challenges and help you stay on track. In addition, there are monthly seminars to foster your personal and professional development. Uh, the topics are quite varied and they can include items such as uh, developing speed reading skills, public speaking, and or networking at conferences, and include other techniques such as uh, stress management. These are various techniques that will not only be helpful in the remainder of your undergraduate career, but are also key in uh, developing healthy habits as you move on to the next step in preparing for graduate school and entering graduate school as well. Moreover, there are additional workshops and events scheduled throughout the academic year that are tailored to begin your development as a graduate student. These include developing skills such as writing your personal statements for graduate applications, securing fellowships and other funding sources, and other graduate student behaviors that are key in surviving the graduate school process. Once you've had some time to acquire some of the skills in the previous slides, uh, which would typically be your first semester in the program, it's time to start putting some of this to use. McNair guides you on identifying faculty in your department who may serve as your mentor as you form and develop your first undergraduate thesis. This helps you learn how to work independently during the research and writing process, but also how to collaborate with faculty in developing the end product. For many students, there's fear in approaching faculty. However, it is a necessary skill to be successful in graduate school. Thus, it helps you if you can develop the necessary communication and writing skills before you enter um, your own graduate school program. McNair not only provides you with the guidance to successfully complete your undergraduate thesis, but also compensates you for successfully doing so. As you can see on the screen, there is a $2,800 stipend uh, that's given to you upon completion of your undergraduate thesis. Once again, I'll make the assumption that many of you or most of you are already aware of the importance and the opportunity available to you uh, by presenting your research at conferences. McNair does make some funds available um, to either partially or completely cover your travel to these conferences. Um, these can be either local conferences at uh, local universities, or we also have students who travel out of state to present their research and have their travel and presentation costs mostly covered by the program. 
Furthermore, the program also schedules graduate school tours usually once or twice per semester to visit local universities and also once per academic year to visit graduate schools outside of the state. As an example, there are usually visits to schools in the Boston area or the DC area um, depending on the students interests that given year. This affords scholars the opportunity not only to travel outside of the state but also to imagine themselves at a different university while getting the opportunity to meet with faculty face to face enabling you not only to ask questions about their program to determine your level of interest but also make an impression ahead of applications that's an opportunity that many students are not afforded and would put you at a great advantage if you are able to find a great match at a school of your interest. Once again, I will assume that many or most of you are uh, aware of what summer research programs are and their importance as well as the benefits that they provide. So I'll just quickly say that McNair helps you prepare for these summer programs by creating a schedule to make sure that you complete your statements well in advance to the program deadline and implementing a peer review process so that your applications are fine-tuned before you submit them. Now you have worked hard, you've grown leaps and bounds as a scholar in developing your own original research. Now what do you do with that impressive CV that you've amassed? You, of course you apply for graduate school. McNair staff have years of experience not only in applying to graduate school themselves, but in successfully transitioning students into various PhD programs across the nation. This experience makes for a very regimented process with writing workshops, peer reviews, and other supporting activities in the summer leading into the fall of your graduate school application season. And once again, I'll come back to funding that's ever so important, as especially as first-generation students. As you begin to hear back from graduate schools in the spring of your senior year, many may invite you to travel to visit the university. Some of these schools can provide uh, funding for your entire trip. Some of them pro provide partial funding while, while others can't fund you at all. This is again where McNair may be able to step in and provide additional financial support to allow you to visit these schools, these prospective schools I should say, and help you identify which graduate program is the best fit for you to commit to. Now that I've given you a summary as to what McNair has to offer, I'll give you a little quick glance as to my personal experience as a McNair scholar. The first item I'll highlight is uh, that you begin to form a community of fellow scholars. You're surrounded by students who share similar narratives to yours, uh, have similar academic pursuits, as well as uh, career goals. Uh, being surrounded by like-minded people, of course, helps you continue to stay motivated as you are challenged uh, academically. In addition, there's a greater sense of belonging and community within my respective department. Uh, as I began to engage in research with faculty, I met a larger number of faculty in the department who encouraged me along the way and thereby also championed for my academic success. In addition, the travel to conferences and research programs is an invaluable experience. Not only had I not seen much of outside of California, but spending an extended period of time networking with fellow scholars and other faculty further motivated me and nurtured the idea that I can continue on as a scholar and move on to graduate school. The opportunity to spend 10 weeks doing research at a R1 university one summer following by another six weeks at a different university the summer after that is an experience that I simply would not trade. Not only did I get to uh, form relationships with students from universities across the nation, I also got to work with other faculty at other universities um, that further helped me solidify what area of research I would like to proceed forward with when I get to graduate school. Now, once again, I'll highlight the financial support that's available to McNair scholars. As a first-generation student, I don't have the financial backing to partake in many of these activities that we have just spoken about. The financial support has been key in being able to take part in the experiences that have brought in my perspective and increased my aspirations as an academic scholar. 
I'll quickly wrap it up by saying that everything that we've spoken about culminates in one big way, and that is in gaining more experience and speaking to various fellow McNair scholars who have now completed their first, second, or even third year of their graduate programs. They have communicated that the experiences as a McNair scholar at Cal State Fullerton better prepared them for their graduate school experience. This makes me feel confident that although I may not have had the same opportunities as other students in grad school uh, in my earlier years, that my experience as a McNair scholar has prepared me for these following steps. Before wrapping up, I will quickly highlight the staff that worked tirelessly to support the McNair Scholars Program. There are many components involved, many long days, and endless meetings to schedule, and I am grateful for their determination to continue supporting our development. Finally, I'll leave my contact information here in case any of you would like to speak in greater detail, or if you have any specific questions, I'll make myself available uh, for you to reach out. And if uh, enough of you are interested, we can also um, get a Zoom session of, um, set up with uh, hopefully a few scholars, uh, at least a handful of us, that would be happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, thanks again for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer.